This week, we have a mix of a bunch of different topics, from Ragnarok finally getting an English version, to Rooster Teeth making a game, and even some indie game developer stuff. So, stay tuned. You've been waiting ages, and it's finally here. Ragnarok M open for pre-registration for its English version, but in Southeast Asia only. Sadness, I know. No worries though, the full global launch should be in another three to four months or so, so just hold on a little bit longer, folks. Anyways, if you're looking to pre-register the game, you're going to need a phone number from one of those specific countries. I personally hate this system for registering, but I guess it helps cut down on the amount of spam and fake accounts, which I can understand. Anyways, this is the same game that was released back in Taiwan last year and in Korea earlier this year. There doesn't seem to be anything new added to the game other than the language update, which still is okay for now. Anyways, the game is launching pretty soon so we can finally go and hunt some porings. Recently, it seems like a lot of developers want to re-release their old classic games. I guess to build nostalgia or something. No idea. I don't know. Anyways, Capcom is adding to the mix with Capcom Belt Action Collection, which consists of seven of their classic beat-em-ups. The games are Final Fight, The King of Dragons, Captain Commando, Knights of the Round, Warriors of Faith, Armored Warriors, and Battle Circuit, and the whole collection drops on September 20th. All the games will support a local and online drop-in co-op, along with a variety of game options to help tailor the game experience to your liking by adjusting the number of lives, continues, difficulty, etc. You'll be able to pick up the new collection digitally on the PS4, Xbox One, Switch, and Steam, but the physical package version will be available on December 6th. So go ahead and pick that up if you're a major fan of these classic arcade games. If you watch anything game related on YouTube, then you probably most definitely heard of Rooster Teeth. You know, that company that started off making that hit machinima Red vs. Blue? Well, their hit anime, Ruby, will be coming to mobile devices soon, thanks to the partnership with Anichen Entertainment. The game is a real-time strategy game similar to Clash Royale or Star Wars Force Arena, with the only unique features being the addition of user skills that you need to press and hold and then release to activate what they say, abilities inspired by the anime series. Other than that, the game looks just okay, but we can't fully judge it until it actually releases. You can go ahead and pre-register the game on Google Play and on their website so you can earn a Ruby emoticon set and pajama suit. So cute. We'll keep an eye on this one and check it out more once it releases. Ever heard of Dead Rain? It's a neat little mobile side-scrolling zombie game made by one Korean dude. Well, at the Busan Indie Connect Festival, an event specifically for indie game devs, that same dude announced a sequel to his hit game, Dead Rain 2. This time around, he's added NPC conversations, new music for each stage, new battle mechanics such as having to target specific body parts of the enemy before being able to take them down, and a ton of new weapons to collect and upgrade. He mentioned that he tried to take all the feedback that players gave him to and incorporate it into the sequel to make the game as enjoyable as he can. The game is targeting a launch in February of next year, so add it to your wish list and keep an eye on this gem. Trust me, you won't be disappointed. Now, this can't be an Asian news video if we don't talk about cute RPG games, at least once. So we give you Maze Shadow of Light for Android and iOS and it's available right now globally. The game is a unique action RPG with a cute cartoonish 3D design that focuses on dynamic gameplay and controls with the addition of a tag action system. The tag system allows players to swap between their, their heroes and guardians to activate chain combos to defeat enemies. Not only does the tag system allow you to perform combos in ideal situations, but it also allows you to have passive skills that can be utilized as well that can make all the difference during a battle. The reason for adding this unique system is to help players play the game more strategically instead of just mindlessly button mashing a single action button to do attacks. To help celebrate the launch of the game, the developers are giving out a White Knight costume to all players on the first day. We'll give it a shot and report back on if it's worth a try. From the gameplay, it looks like something we'll enjoy. Now, this next game isn't on mobile devices, nor is it something from an Asian developer. We're just including it because, well, it's a battle royale game and it reminds us of Happy Tree Friends. Yeah! Super Animal Royale by Pixel Studios is a 64 player top down battle royale game with adorably murderous super animals. Their words, not mine. 
The game features all the usuals like parachuting into a match, looting buildings for guns and explosives, running away from some environmental hazard that's pushing you to some area in the map, and a pass that allows you to unlock customizable options for your animals. The game is planned for Windows PCs with Mac support coming soon. Yay, Mac support, I love you. Anyways, it'll be available in early access on Steam starting next month with two pricing tiers. The normal $15 version, which comes with the game, a game pass, and additional copy for your friend. While the Founders Edition comes with all of the above, in addition to the limited edition Founder skins, Founder username color, color and Discord benefits for $30. You can wishlist it on Steam right now, and we'll leave a link in the description down below so you can check it out for yourself. And that's where we're going to end today's show. Remember, if you liked what we talk about, give us a thumbs up. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Also, make sure you hit the little bell icon so you're notified when MoGrump uploads new content. Anyways, I'm Dennis. I won't be here next week, but don't worry. We won't miss the news. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.